that have been watching my videos for a while will totally understand where I'm coming from, where I've come from, and how all this sort of eventuated for me. So it all started for me when I learned in September 2016 that the moon landing was a hoax. Now from that point on, NASA's, NASA's always, they've always held a special little place in my heart, have NASA because they're just complete and utter frauds. I mean, you just look at their logo, it's got the serpent thing on there, serpent tongue on the on the logo, and they're just all Freemasons. Every single one of them are Freemasons, and you look at that International Space Station, and it's meant to be going tens of thousands of miles an hour as it goes around the, 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 the ball Earth, and the whole thing's ridiculous, and the ball Earth is ridiculous, the ball Earth is demonic, and... If, you're, if you still think the Earth's a globe, I mean, my goodness, you really, really need to, to catch up. Whether you be a Christian, whether you be a Bible believer or not, if you're a Bible believer, my goodness gracious me, how you need to catch up and lose that pride because truth doesn't wait for no man. I do notice, I do notice though that they have announced now that they've just found a big black hole, which is most most interesting so as I look back on my journey I look at just the areas where the enemy have tried to divert me now I'm not an ego filled person not at all I my journey has led me to the point where I know I just can't have one because nobody wants to know anything I've got to say. It's been like it my whole life. Everybody just writes me off, you know. I'd like to do this. I'd say, oh, that's lovely, Brett. Let's go and do this instead, they say. Happens every time. Every time it's happened right through my life. So ego, no. I'm a vessel for the Lord, and I am absolutely, absolutely relentless in trying to find out how the Lord wants to use me because I am just his humble vessel. So the, and the Lord and the Lord absolutely created me this way. So, but, but but just to recap, but most of these videos I do, I've got light orbs coming off me, man. I've got these things of light just coming off me. And the other day, I had this great big thing just there in my back window, big source of light that I cannot explain. And nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to talk about it. And what I'm thinking is that the Lord is just saying to me, Brad, this is real, and I really want to use you, and you're on the right path with all this stuff. Stay true. Stay true. Stay confident, because I've taught you my whole life that people have been telling you you're wrong, where it, where, where it works out most times that I'm not wrong. I have been wrong, you know, plenty of times. Don't get me wrong. But, but. Most of the time, when I'm absolutely resolute on something, I turn out to be correct. So the Lord, the Lord is showing me a lot of things at the moment. Now, one thing that the enemy did show to me, Forza, Forza was the first one from the from the Lodge of Massachusetts that came to me when I first started reading the Bible uh, in December. There, he was the one that was guiding me, just helping me along. He was just making sure I stayed on track. And as soon as I brought up CERN, Forza was like, no, no, no. Don't worry about that, Brett. And he come up with this same old line, same old line that the enemy do is just worry about the kingdom of the Lord. Don't worry about what the enemy are doing. Hmm. So I'm just going to play a clip now that I played. It's probably around about a month ago now where I feel as though something changed in the spiritual world. You'll see my body language and you'll see where I was at. Let's play that now. Oh, my brothers and sisters, can you feel it too? It's just something's happened. Something's happened. Something's changed. Um, I, I, I can just feel it. Something's begun. They've done something. Something started. Just everything just feels different now. Um, I, I noticed there, I was watching Casey there this morning, and he was talking about it too. He said he's, he's felt something, and he did that video the other day, and he said he got a lot of comments there about just just something. Something's different. Something's changed. Um, I know I've had reports of people, you know, they've, they've, they've been feeling quite unwell. I was, you know, I was attacked by those wasps the other day, and I'm just getting absolutely murdered with bugs constantly I do things on the computer and everything just goes wrong all the time and I just I just feel like just everything's hard sometimes um it, it's just it, it's it's happened it, it's it's something's changed 
So you look at that clip, you look at that clip and, and how I was, and now they're announcing that a great big black hole has been found. And to me, this is CERN. Something has happened at CERN, and this is what they're announcing by this black hole because this is what space is. Space is the veil. It's their pretend area, and that's where the aliens are going to come from, which are the demons from the other side. And where's the other side? I've said this in the videos before. It's the sea. This, that's what the sea represents, the waters. And that's what, and that's what the, the sea, the waters above the firmament, right? That's what the, that's what the whole ark thing was about. So God absolutely, he, the, the ark did not float. The ark was encased in the waters. It wasn't floating. It was, it was submerged just like Jonah was in the whale, just like Jesus was when he, when he died before he was resurrected. And the, and that, and that, the water represents the veil. And that's what they're doing at CERN right now. That's what, let's drive. That's what they're doing at CERN right now. And that's what's happened. That's what I firmly believe has happened. And that's what this black hole is that they're, that NASA are announcing now. And this is the start of it, guys. I absolutely firmly believe this alien invasion now is imminent. It's coming. Um, th th things are changing. Like, why would they announce a black hole all of a sudden, NASA? Which is make-believe, which is pretend, which is all cartoons. We've long known that. We've not known that. And I'm not having that debate anymore. Um, I'm going to title this video Flat Earth, I think. So I'll get the trolls come on and TJ Jones will come on offering me $46,000. If I can prove the Earth's flat, and because I can't prove it's flat, that means it must be a globe. Just nonsense. But it's it's long past. It's long, long past that the Earth is not a globe, and NASA's NASA's full of lies, and they're full of agenda. They're full of Freemasonic free agenda, um, and and and, and, um, and propaganda. They're full of full of the agenda and the propaganda. And what's the propaganda now? Is that they have found. A black hole so what they've done let's 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 break it down let's translate their Hegelian dialectic their Masonic Hegelian dialectic NASA have found a black hole in space which means CERN have broken through the veil that's what it means so the next thing that's gonna happen is that they've been prepping us for years with area 51 that Area 51 was started just to make people look like fruitcakes because they think aliens are real and that's how they kept it in the lexicon. That's how they kept it in the community for all of those decades from the 50s up until recently. That's how they kept the whole idea of aliens alive while it being just a stupid conspiracy, which of course it is. Um, and then it makes everybody who, who looks at conspiracies look like idiots. Um, but of course it is a conspiracy um, and it's not, well, it's a conspiracy theory. It's not real. It's not real. It's a load of nonsense, but it is real. It is real in the sense that um, it's going to represent something else. So what, again, what are aliens? Aliens are demons. Big truck, I'm going in front of that. Aliens are demons from the other side. Where's the other side? The other side is the veil, is the veil. What's the veil? The veil is what, oh, I've got a car behind me and it's like I'm merging and it pulls into the lane like before me and accelerates right up beside me. So I can't merge into the lane because there it goes, because it can do it so much faster than me. So much better. Oh almost causes an accident with its fastness and superior drivingness but anyway yeah so the veil the veil is what happened when the ark with the ark when when the lord flooded the earth um and this is where those fallen angel creatures went after they inflicted mankind that's where they are that's where they're stuck i think it's even those seven planets planets that um the wandering stars that wander above us that's what i think they might be as well and this is what they've broken through this is what that black hole represents I've been saying for weeks, for a couple of months now, that I believe a big event's coming. I steadfastly still believe that. And I will say to you now, watch, just watch for stories about aliens, some sort of alien invasion, because what better way, what better way 
as Ronald Reagan said in the 80s, to the United Nations, which is just Switzerland in disguise. As Ronald Reagan said there in the 1980s, what better way, what better way to unify mankind than an alien threat from a foreign, foreign planet. And that's what's going to happen. And that's what's next with their, with their whole unity thing. And why do they want unity? This is why I can't say Asian. Oh, you racist. I can't say Asian because they look different to me. And we can't have any sort of difference at all. Why? It's because the Lord created us all different. They want to get rid of all that different, different, um, different aspects to all of us, and they want us to all unify as one under the under the worship of Lucifer and the Antichrist, which I firmly believe is Barack Obama. To me, guys, it's just I'm getting tailgated by a white SUV with its lights on. I know. Knock me down with a feather. So I might just go slow. Um, yeah, so it's it's all just getting, it's, it's all coming together for me. And I think just the next step, that's what, because Christchurch happened, Christchurch happened just after. Christchurch happened just after I felt when they snapped through the veil, which is the announcement they're making today, NASA's making today with this black hole. That's when it all happened. Um, so that, 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 that that's when it all happened. And it's, the, the aliens, the aliens are next, the aliens are next, and everybody's, because Christchurch happened, that just softened everybody up, that we all, we all just need to come together, we all just need to be unified, um, because everybody's petrified, and that's what they want, they just want everybody in a constant state of emotion, a constant state of fear, because while everyone's in a state of emotion, truth won't come out and people like me are going to look like morons and they're going to make us out to be morons because they're going to say where's your god now and he's right here he's right here with me i've just reading through the book of acts the holy ghost jesus talked about the holy ghost and man am i very very well aware now of exactly what the holy ghost is oh yes so that's what's happening. So watch for aliens. That's the next big big thing. There could be another event coming to unify everyone. And you just look at that Jacinda Ardern. What did she do? She whacked on a Muslim garb and everybody just goes, what wonderful leadership. What wonderful uniting leadership. And what's and what's devoid from the what's devoid from the conversation, apart from making the gunman out to be some crazy Christian, is the Lord. The Lord's just not there. It's just their Hegelian dialectic and everyone's fallen for it. But not us who are in the body of Christ. Alright, my brothers and sisters, we live in dark, dark times. We need to get closer and closer and closer to the Lord as the days go on. And as I always say, look at your journey. Look at how you got here. And that's the spiritual war. All of those people that have played a role in your life previously, this is the sp that, that have kept you from the Lord. And then those very few people that have brought you, tried to bring you closer. I like to think I'm one of them that have tried to bring you closer. Just look at it all, and this is the spiritual war, guys. Look at everything through the eyes of spirituality, and everything that happens is the will of God and Satan trying to prevent the will of God. Once you do that, it all starts to come together, and the Bible, you start to read it through spiritual eyes, and it all starts to look different, and everybody wants to argue with you because they're saying you're wrong. In any way... That's all good. People can argue with me all they like. And if I find out that I am wrong, I will repent. All right, my brothers and sisters, all power and glory goes to Jesus slash Yeshua, the King.